Hey guys, welcome in that series of video about uh, Golem 7. In this video, I'll show you how to update your scene from previous versions of Golem to Golem 7. So here I'm running uh, Golem 644 and I made a pretty simple scene with uh, characters walking uh, on, a, on a terrain. I exported uh, that simulation here and I apply a couple of uh, layer modifications. So I duplicated um, a patch of characters, uh, which I believe are those characters uh, there in the background. Uh, applied a time offset on it. I also rotated them. I uh, duplicated another patch of characters here, also rotated them and translated it. Um, I apply uh, a set mesh asset on that character here in the, in the foreground and also erase a couple of characters here uh, in the background. I saved uh, all those layout modification into um, a layer file. So if we take a look into the solution cache proxy, I'm having that layer file here, which is um, stored within the same directory than my cache. It's called layout.gscl, which stands for, for Golem Simulation Cache Layout. So um, I'm quite happy with that scene and I would like to bring it into Golem 7. So I just have to jump into Golem 7 here. So I'm running uh, 701 here. And I just need to take that scene here and bring it to Golem 7 and see what's going on. Okay, so if you've been watching the other videos from Golem 7, you may be familiar with that. That's the new layout tool. Uh, there's gonna be plenty of videos explaining how does it work. Uh, but what we're gonna really focus on here is uh, how it gets translated from Golem 6 uh, to Golem 7. So here I'm having my exact same scene with my terrain, my characters walking down and some layers being applied. Apparently it looks more or less uh, it looks, well, it looks the same than within Golem 6. Uh, I'm having my character with uh, a different um, outfit here. I'm having missing character there. I'm having that my patch in the background on the left and on the right. Uh, looks pretty good. So let's uh, check what's going on here. So whenever I'm opening a scene, which has a cache proxy, and within that cache proxy, there's a GSC alpha, which is a uh, list into this. Uh, you should get this into your script editor. So it's saying that uh, the layout file is from an older version, so it's been made with 644, so it makes sense. And it says that it has been successfully converted into uh, the new layout file version. So that new layout file version has been saved along the older one, but as a new name, which is called, well, that's my previous name here, with uh, a post fix, which is underscore GLM V7, and it's still a GSC alpha. If we take a look at uh, my um, directory here, uh, which has the cache been exported, now I can see that I have my uh, layout file here, my previous one, and next to it I'm having my version seven. So even if those two files have the same extension, uh, if we open them with a, a, a text editor, you will probably notice that they're way different. So that's the previous uh, file format version. That's the new file format version. So it starts with the connections and all the information about the nodes. So even if the same, if it's the same extension, it's the file format is way different. So that's why we had to convert that into um, another uh, version of the file and store it along. And you can see that within the cache proxy, now it's it's referencing the new version of the GSCL. So it means that if you save that scene and want to bring that back into Golem 6, you can't do it anymore because that file can't be read from Golem.6. Um, if we take a look at the script editor, I missed a line on purpose, uh, which is really important. So that line says the layout result might differ from the previous version. Um, mostly because we rewrote completely the layout tool from scratch. Uh, we tried to re-implement most of the layers uh, but as we had to re-implement them to make them consistent from cache replay and rendering, uh, we couldn't re-implement it the same way than within Golem 6. So you will probably have difference when you had min and max value within the same operator. Uh, so let's say you had a, a time offset and you, you specified a min and a max value. Uh, the random number which will be picked for each entity could be different and uh, could result in different postures. Um, if you were, that's, that one is quite important. If you were using a snap to uh, layer, you will not get the same result. 
and if you were um, using um, time offset and a time warp layer on the same entities within your file whenever you're going to open it to golem 7 the the resulting behavior will be different because we'll be changing the default way it's been working so my advice would be if you are using golem uh, 6 on a heavy production which relies a lot on layout i would advise not to switch to golem 7 if you want your old scenes to work exactly the same uh, if it's not that important, um, feel free to jump into Golem 7 and uh, use the new uh, layout tool. Uh, that's not the purpose of the video, but let's check really quickly what's going on into that file here. Uh, so we can see our selectors with the duplicate uh, and all the operation to translate and frame offset the characters. So that's good. Uh, I'm having my duplicate here. I'm having my set mesh asset to change my characters and having my kill. So all the operations are here. Uh, still, the layers are the same. They're ordered into the same uh, way and uh, they process into uh, the same order. But due to the way we compute parameters, the way they're going to be executed in each of those layers uh, could provide a different behavior. Overall, here in my scene, it looks pretty similar. Uh, maybe if I do maybe a really uh, heavy uh, def, I will see some difference. Uh, but for me, it's good enough. So it's up to you here to decide what you'd like to do if you're in the middle of the production. Uh, and uh, I hope it helps on how you can open your scene and convert them within Golem 7. See you in the next video.